Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Let's go to Jackson Hole. This is one of my snow bullseyes during this period. You picked up a little bit of snow, some bonus snow, pouring about three inches in the last 24 hours, and it's still snowing lightly. But really, the snow will pick up in intensity this afternoon, tonight, through the 16th, and then there's some additional shots of snow beyond that. I'm thinking two or three feet of grand total snow. That's one of my snow bullseyes. All right, let me take you over to uh, my bullet points this morning. Here's what I'm seeing. So Tetons this afternoon through 216, snow on 218 and 220. Now I've got a second snow bullseye for the Sierra. I think we're going to see some low-level type atmospheric river contribution. We've got snow coming in the afternoon tomorrow, 214, 217, and 219 through 221. We could be looking at feet of accumulation in the Sierra as well. Um, overall, the pattern, 214 through 222 will favor California, Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. It's not as organized as it was, say, a few days ago, the way it was looking. But we're going to see some areas that really benefit from this. And other areas may have some high pressure ridging they're going to have to battle. Um, in the northeast, total miss for today's storm system. It's so far to the south now. Next shot comes in with a storm system afternoon, evening of 215 into 216. So we'll look at all that in this forecast update. I want to take you back and show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. Uh, mark a couple of features. So storm system right here moving into... Uh, um, the west, California, this one will uh, kind of cruise up through the northern tier, and that's what's going to help to lay down some of that additional snow in the Tetons and refire that snow there. Um, there's another area of low pressure back here. Um, there's one here, and then there's actually a fourth one right here as well. A lot of action. So this one will actually uh, roll towards uh, California in a similar fashion as that initial area of low pressure. The final two will hang back for a while. They'll be part of the pattern shift um, more towards California um, to 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and beyond. So that whole trough will start to move towards California. But like I said, it may battle some high pressure ridging by the time it arrives in California. There may be a little bit of high pressure ridging across the four corners. Um, so that'll make for a very interesting forecast. And here's what I'm looking at as far as this is forecast integrated vapor transport. We look at this when we're trying to spot atmospheric river. Um, surges. And you can see th this is for that, that south central, uh, central um, California coast around 38 north, 123 rest around that San Francisco um, coastline area. And you can see there's some low level weak to maybe low level moderate atmospheric river contribution coming in here. So with these different storm systems. Uh, let me show you the jet setup. So this is the end of day today. Um, jet stream definitely, you can see where it's running. Northern California, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, clipping the Wasatch, clipping the central and northern mountains of Colorado. 215, same kind of thing. Uh, 216, all right, here comes that cluster, um, that large trough approaching the west coast. And you can see there's a little bit of ridging over the four corners. This is 219 end of day. Um, here's 220, definitely some ridging right there over the Intermountain West. All right, here's 221. That low starts to make its move out of California into the interior, and that would likely push action and snow into the interior states. In fact, here is the moisture. Here's the forecast radar. This is this afternoon. You can see some of that, those ribbons of snow from Idaho over the Tetons and up into parts of Montana. Um, still there tomorrow morning. Here comes the next storm system, reinforces, refires up a lot of that snowfall, um, not only along the west coast, but in the interior. And this time, the Wasatch gets a piece of it, and so does the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Here's 215 in the afternoon. And then that storm kind of fades out through 216, and we kind of have a little bit of that high pressure ridging across the four corners. Next storm system moves in. Here's 218 in the morning. Um, that fires its way through Idaho, the Tetons, the Wasatch, and eventually into Colorado, 218 in the afternoon. And then that moves away. Another storm system comes in from the west, sends some moisture into the interior. And there's a 221, another storm system on 222. So you kind of get the picture. A lot of low pressures lined up. They'll hit the west coast. Pieces of them will get moved and blown into the interior states, and we'll get some, some flow type of uh, snow production across the mountains. All right, let's look at the, uh, uh, the snowfall here. So today through tomorrow, next 48 hours, 8 to 10 inches across the Tetons. Um, central to northern California, 8 to 16, so we're looking pretty good there. A little bit of snow may brush on 214, the, 
the Wasatch and the Northern Mountains of Colorado. Second period, 215 through 217, at least a foot in the Tetons. Uh, probably four to eight for the Wasatch, three to six in the central and northern mountains of Colorado, and eight to 12, maybe eight to 16 across the Sierra. So the Sierra keeps piling up totals in each period. Final period, this is 218 through 222, potentially uh, almost two feet, one to two feet for the Tetons in that period alone, eight to nine, another eight to maybe 10 across the Wasatch, maybe two to six in Colorado, and potentially two to three feet in this period alone for California. So that's why I'm saying I've got two bullseyes, uh, the Sierra and also the Tetons. All right, let me show you a specialty map. <clears throat> so this is grand total snowfall um, today through 222 in the Tetons. And again, looking at at least three feet of snow. Um, Grand Targhee is there, a little over for Jackson Hole and quite a bit over that for the Grand Teton itself. So yeah, at least three feet, two to three, maybe four feet of snow here. Uh, grand totals, that's one of the snow bullseyes. Doesn't all come at once, but very impressive over time. Uh, going to the northeast, again, nothing today from Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. What you see here mainly occurs on 216, afternoon, evening of 215 into 216. 6 to 12 inches will probably do it for Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, and parts of Maine. Um, New York State, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 inches, not out of the question uh, with that storm system as well. Guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning Mountain Weather Update. Always appreciate it, and take care.